Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another Pick a Power reading. We have another one going up soon. It's the Twin Flame Edition. This is going to be messages from your divine counterpart's higher self. What does he or she want to say to you, especially on this ascension journey? So we're going to get right into it. Um, just a couple of announcements first. We have, again, we have a new Pick a Pile going up. We'll have a couple of those going up throughout the week, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a beat. We also have a new Ascensions Confessions video. Um, episode 9 is now up. And we have a sale going on until the end of the year. Um, so for the rest of the year, if you book now, we have a half spread for $20 and a full spread for $50. Now, you have to book until the end of the year. Um, you have to book now um, in order to get those prices um, for the end of the year. At the end of the year, at the start of the new year, those prices are not only going to go back to the original price, but they're going to be raised. So if you want a reading from me, if you vibe with my you know, energy, then go ahead and book now so you can lock in that price um, because those prices are going to go um, back up to the original price and then we're going to be um, raising those prices a little bit after that. So make sure you book now. Okay, we're going to get right into it. Um, the messages, I did the uh, Twin Flame edition earlier this afternoon, and the energy is just incredible. It's incredible. Um, we've really shifted. Um, there is some, you know, lingering heaviness going on, um, but we're really moving into calmer waters, and uh, the energy, you're just, we're just feeling it. We're feeling it inside of us. So let's see what our divine counterparts have to say to us. We've got three piles here. We've got one two, and three. So go ahead and pick your headline card and we'll get into the readings. Okay, group number one, if you picked this card, then this is going to be your pile and your reading. We're going to set this aside as final messages from your divine counterparts, higher self, and let's see what they have to say to you. What's going on here? For you and your divine counterpart, what does that say? Hydrate. Somebody needs to be drinking some water. I, I like the energy here. I really do. The energy is really, really good. Let's see what they have to say here. What they actually want me to do um, is do this. Um, so I feel this is using the good tarot. It's actually um, a tarot deck. Um, and they actually want me to put this on top, I guess kind of as like the overall energy. So let's see what's going on here. Um, first, they're pointing out this Pegasus here, this winged horse. And we have the Ace of Air. And the Ace of Air in traditional tarot is the um, Ace of Swords. And Swords is all about clarity. And the Ace of Swords is all about a new beginning um, with newfound truth, newfound clarity. Um, for me, it's breaking free of illusions. Um, it's breaking free of the things that held us back, um, the, the false beliefs that held us back, seeing things with a new sense of clarity and moving forward with that clarity. Um, so we have forward momentum here with this Pegasus, um, I feel like what they're saying here is that you're taking flight or that you're ready to take flight or that your relationship is going to take flight. Somebody's taking flight here. So actually what I'm going to do, um, I actually want to read from the book and see what this Ace of Air is all about um, because it's a little bit different in the, in the good tarot than the traditional tarot deck. So I just want to see what we have here. We have Ace of Air, Destiny and Fate, the Law of Karma, Powerful Forces of Transformation at Work, Synchronicity. Meaningful coincidences and forces beyond my human control are operating in my life now for the highest good. Things are happening now with great velocity. I can expect quick results that will lead me forward with excellent information. So again, what I'm getting is that there's been some kind of breakthrough here. There's been some kind of newfound truth um, for either you or your divine counterpart. If you're watching for your, um, if you're cross watching for your divine counterpart, and if it's resonating in that way, there's been some kind of breakthrough, some kind of clarity, some kind of truth. You're seeing past the illusion. You're seeing past the mass. They're telling me you're seeing something with new light, with a new perception, um, with a, a perception. They're showing me a lens of love, um, and so what that's doing is that's creating uh, newfound manifestations in your life. It's it's moving you forward along your journey. Um, so that's really a beautiful message. We're going to set that aside here. So with that message, what we're getting is that love matters. You're, you're really looking at things through a new lens, through a lens of, of love and through a lens of joy here. What they're actually saying is that you're in perfect alignment. You have gotten through, um, what they're showing me is a tower moment. You, you've had this breakthrough um, that this shakeup really put you through. I really believe that there was some kind of shakeup, some kind of intensity with this group here that made you see things in a new light 
Um, they're actually showing me there could have been some issues with your family. There could have been some issues, number one, with your divine counterpart. But what they're actually telling me is whatever issues were with your divine counterpart, it, that was just the external. It's almost like they were, you know, lashing out at you or they were, you know, almost like taking it out on you. Um, but not in a negative way. It wasn't like, um, it wasn't toxic. They're just saying that it was like the energy was there, that it was like they, you, you may have thought it was about you, but it wasn't about you because what they were really doing, something was happening with family relationships, with friendships, and with workplaces. I'm also getting um, also home life as far as, you know, I'm if somebody here is moving and there were some issues with moving, some stress related to moving, um, there was some kind of situation that was causing great stress, um, great uh, fear, great reluctance. Um, that was just making um, somebody hold back. That was also just creating some kind of just disharmony um, and imbalance in, in this person's life. Um, so what happened was there was a tower moment, a, a big shakeup, a, a surprise event, a big shakeup. Um, the universe is actually uh, the tower. What they want me to tell you is that tower is a major arcana. And the major arcana cards are really the universe kind of intervening to push things along. Um, so it was really the universe intervening kind of to... To, to move you along because there was some kind of stack in energy. There was something that just was not working, um, some kind of m disharmony. Um, you had to change course in some way. You were on, it was almost like you were on the wrong path and you knew it, but you didn't know how to change. Um, you were, two things they're saying. Someone was on the wrong path and they didn't know how to change. So the universe had to come in and kind of push them along. There's another group here that was just remaining where they were in stagnant energy. So the universe had to come along there and push them along. So either way, there was a tarot moment. There was some big kind of like shake up, some big kind of upheaval that led to a breakthrough and that led to a shift in perception. Um, and that truth and clarity was coming now through a lens of love. Now they're experiencing through the lens of love. What they want to say to you is that everything is happening in perfect timing. Even though you had this shake up, you're still in alignment with where you need to be. That shake up had to happen. It's almost like that shakeup was predestined. Um, it was almost like the cat. It was a catalyst for this change in, in perception, for this transformation and this mindset shift, for this newfound clarity, because that newfound clarity is moving you in a different direction, moving you in a, in a direction that's more towards your soul's purpose. Um, so now it's it was perfect timing. So now what you're experiencing is the love. Now what you're experiencing is the truth of this connection with your divine counterpart, the truth of, you know, you're seeing things from a higher perspective, your entire life from a higher perspective, you're really pulling back and seeing the truth, you're seeing the bigger picture, you're seeing why things have to happen as they do, um, before you couldn't, but now it's like the perfect, they're saying it's a perfect timing, divine timing, where now they're giving you that bigger picture so that you can see everything, that, so that you're really anchoring into the 5D, um, not only so you like you can manifest, so not only that you can get your abundance, and so not only that you can connect to the divine and your soul, soul of yourself, but also that you can see um, how everything is interconnected in your life and how nothing is by coincidence, nothing is by happenstance. Um, everything is connected um, and everything's in perfect timing. You're exactly where you need to be, but also that you're in a place of joy. We have you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. So now with this newfound perspective, you can see the joy. You can see the the love in it. You can see that even though there are struggles and trials and tribulations and, you know, even pain is what they're saying, um, you can see that it all has a purpose. You can see that it was all um, to bring you to this point. It's almost like this is the zero point and you had to get to this point. Um, so what they're actually saying is now you're in a place of you can fill back up with joy. You do not have to struggle. Um, you didn't have to struggle then and you don't have to struggle now. And what they're saying is that you can get back to that place of love and you can get back to that place of joy. What they're actually calling me to this hydrate card is um, be around water. Um, because water, they're saying be around water because water is a metaphor. But they're actually saying like be water because water is what flows. And what they want you to do is really flow. Go with the flow of things. Um Follow the flow of life is what they're saying because everything is happening and working out in perfect timing. Um, follow the flow, follow the joy, follow the love. 
um, because you have this newfound clarity, you can see the bigger picture, and you're really moving forward at a swift pace. They're actually saying you're moving forward at a swift pace and manifesting all of your desires. Everything's arriving to you in perfect timing. So just trust the journey, trust yourself, embrace this life, embrace the flow, embrace the love, and you know know that you are moving along. Um, everything is coming. We have a, an hourglass here. What they're saying is that everything is happening not only in perfect timing, but in perfect balance. Beautiful, beautiful. Really quick. It's a quick message, but we got it. We got the message out. So let's see what else they have to say to you. Their final message is, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. I feel like that's in alignment with this um, Ace of Air card. You've had this newfound time of clarity, so go ahead and take some time to reflect on that. Um, reflect on where you've been, reflect on who you are, reflect on the truth of who you are is what they're saying. Reflect on you know the things that have led you here. Reflect on this bigger picture. Take a look and step back at this bigger picture. Um, take this time for yourself to be near water, to understand the flow of who you are, the flow of all things. Um, be present. That's the um, the final message that they want me to say to you is to really be present in love, in joy, in the soul of who you are and in this newfound truth and clarity. All right, you guys, that feels complete. So we're going to end it there. I know it was a very quick message, but that's what Spirit had to say and the messages were there. So we're going to be back with another uh, Pick a Pile just like this next week. Um, more messages from your divine counterparts, higher self. And we're going to have some more Pick a Piles uploading throughout the week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't catch a beat. If the messages resonate with you, that's great. Take them as they come. If they don't, it just means it wasn't meant for you at this time. You can always check out another Pick a Pile or come back to this later. Um, time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. We always come back to the things that we thought we knew with new understanding. Um, so you can always check back later um, and see if it resonates with you at that time. All right, we will catch you later. Okay, group number two, if you pick this pile, this is your reading. We're going to put this headline card aside as final messages from your divine counterparts, higher self, and we're going to see what they have to say to you. What do we have here? Grateful, gratitude, discernment, and emperor. Okay, in the last group, what they had me do um, was actually do this as like a, um, because this is using the good tarot, so this is like a tarot card, and what they actually want me to do is use this as like overall energy, and I've never had this in this reading before, so it's interesting that they're having me do that, even here. Um, again, they want me to do that. They want me to um, pull out the emperor energy as overall energy here. Um, so what we have, they're, they're calling me to this as Aries. Um, this is the Aries card in traditional tarot. I don't read zodiac signs, but more and more they're having me do that. Um, what this really is, is the emperor energy is really like an, an uh, energy of authority. It's an energy of just standing in your power. It's an energy of confidence and moving forward, being willing to move forward and take action, um, not feeling any reluctance, not feeling any resistance, just fully standing where you are and being willing to take um take action. You're standing in your strength. Um, they're also calling me to Leo energy here. So if that resonates with you, um, take it as it comes. Again, I don't read for zodiac signs, um, for the astrological signs. Um, so there might be a special message for Aries or for Leo. Um, cause what they're also calling me here too is the strength. Um, that you're, and really standing in your strength here um, and your divine counterpart there's a feeling of pride here there's just a feeling of confidence and pride and what they're saying is that we have confidence and pride for you um, because you are standing in your internal strength you are standing in your position of power and authority and you're taking action and what they're actually saying is you're taking back control of your life so let's see if that resonates with with some of you guys um <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me oh my goodness um, I actually want to read from the book here. Um, let's see what they have to say. Yeah, it says Emperor Authority. Um, this good tarot, um, it, it reads it kind of like in a gentler message than traditional tarot, but let's see if it validates what I, what I was just picking up on. Following the rules right now is exactly what I should be doing. People in authority come to my aid and give me good advice when I ask for it. I can have the strong confidence that this card suggests. Dealing with institutions like banks, governments, and schools are also highlighted at this time. Um, so really what I'm just picking up on is authority. It's just you're standing in a place of authority. Um, yes, you could also be receiving um, guidance from someone in authority. Um, I'm actually getting guidance from your emperor. So I'm actually getting guidance from your divine counterpart. So whether you're in contact or whether this is happening in the 5D through dreams, through synchronicities, trust your intuition. 
um, trust the guidance that you're getting from your divine counterpart because I'm also I'm getting a lot of Empress energy here. Um, if you are in contact, if you are in communication and a relationship, um, reach out to your divine counterpart um, because they are your divine counterpart. They are the empress to your emperor or vice versa, um, depending on, you know, where you stand in the relationship. Um, but you are divine counterpart, so you can fully put your trust and your confidence in that person is what they're saying. You can fully, you know, lean on that person, find support in each other, um, find your strength in each other as you find your strength in yourself. Um, so really, that's a really beautiful message, really beautiful message there. It's just a loving, a very warm, very loving, but very powerful and authoritative card, um, a very confident card, a very strong card, very strong energy that I'm getting. So really beautiful. Um, so let's move down to here, what they have to say. They're saying, um, it's basically what we were saying with the overall energy here. They're saying, trust. Know that you can trust your divine counterpart as you trust yourself as well. We have, it's interesting, this image here is what they're calling me. It's kind of like a validation card. We have what's indicative of you or whoever you're cross-watching for and your divine counterpart. And you see how it's kind of faded? It's almost like they're saying that's in the ethereal realms, that's in the higher realms, um, that's your divine counterpart in the 5D. So really, um, no matter if you're in contact or not, really go within and feel that love from your divine counterpart there. Really feel their guidance really feel how they are supporting you and showering you with love because there's just an overwhelming feeling of love from your divine counterpart to you they're very proud of you they are saying that you have really um, been through the storm here you have really been through it all through the emotions um, okay so what they're saying is you've been through the emotions you've been through the storm you've been through the intensity um, and they're very proud of you they've been supporting you all the way now it's time to amplify your positive emotions here now it's time to get back to the joy and to the love, um, to get back to the gratitude because gratitude um, is just a vibration of love. Um, so they really want you to kind of uh, release any of the negativity, release any of the additional resistance so that you can stay in your emperor energy. Um, if you're not in your emperor energy yet, you will be getting into it. If you are, they want you to stay there. Um, they want you to stay into that place of confidence, into that in that place of just feeling in your power, like you're really feeling in your power. Um, so it's really, really beautiful. We have the discernment card and they're moving me towards this next. They're moving very swiftly, but the messages are here and, and thankfully I'm able to um, decipher them. They're saying you're developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. And they're saying that's the energy that you're moving out of. You're really seeing the truth of the matter. You're really starting to trust yourself. You're really stepping into this energy of letting go of feeling like you were out of control, feeling like you had no faith, feeling like you had no truth, feeling like you were resisting this whole journey, like you were resisting the, sh the shadow work is what they were say they're saying, resisting the healing, like you're resisting this connection too. Um, they're saying that you're really moving out of that energy of fear, of resistance, and you're moving more into truth and clarity. Um, you're moving more into this place of feeling confident, like you can trust this journey, like you can trust yourself, like you have that truth and clarity now that you that confusion is completely dispelled, that disbelief is completely dispelled. Now you're standing in a place of trust because you know that you have the support of your divine counterpart. And so they're saying continue to have faith in that, continue to amplify those positive emotions, stay in that place of gratitude, lift those vibrations so you that that you you know, to a place of love so that you keep raising those vibrations, so that you keep anchoring into the 5D, so that you remain in this emperor energy of just complete strength, internal strength, knowing that you have everything that you need um, to manifest, to continue on this journey, to continue anchoring into the 5D, to continue anchoring into those high vibrations, and to continue changing your life to a place of abundance and pure, unconditional, divine love. Really beautiful messages here. It's a really great energy. You guys are in a great place moving into this emperor energy. They're very, very proud of you. There's an overwhelming feeling of just pride and love, and they just want you to keep going. Um, that's basically the message here is just to keep going, keep trusting, know that you're on the right path, keep staying in a place of love, positivity, um, because you are in this emperor energy. You are you know, you are strong. You are strong. So we have this final headline card, a final message from Spirit. Uh, from your divine counterparts, higher self. It says, a message for you. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. A beautiful message. A beautiful message um, just showing that you're supported, that they love you, that they're standing right behind you. They are standing with you no matter where you are on your journey in the physical. They are with you. 
um, you can turn to them for support. You can turn to them for that love. You can turn to them as your empress, as your divine counterpart. You can turn to them because you are on this journey together. And it's almost like what they're saying is that you're coming into alignment together. You're coming into balance together. You're coming into union because you they are the empress to your emperor. You, um, you're the empress to their emperor, vice versa. Um, I just really see, I wish I could get those two cards um, because what I'm really seeing is just those two cards of the tarot deck just sitting side by side. You're just standing uh, or sitting side by side on your thrones. It's just a really beautiful energy, um, really coming into alignment together, really coming into connection, into union together um, because you're com you're doing the work and you're coming into harmony with yourself, trusting yourself coming to a new place of clarity, staying in those high vibrations with that positive emotions, those feelings of gratitude. You're just really in a place of a beautiful, confident, strong energy. Really beautiful, you guys. All right, we're going to end there. Um, come back at a later time. Um, next week, we'll have another pick a pile reading like this. We'll have more pick a piles, um, some, some really fun ones coming and uploading throughout the week. I will also have a divine partnership uh, reading coming for the masculine and feminine energies. I'm really curious based on this reading. Um, what they have to say there. Um, but a really beautiful reading from and messages from your divine counterparts, higher self. So, so keep on the journey. It's, it's really, you're doing a great job. Um, you're really coming into harmony. All right, you guys, we'll be back soon. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. All right, group number three, if you pick this pile, this is your reading. We're going to set this headline card aside as final messages from your divine counterparts, higher self, and say, and see what they have to say to you. I'm loving these energies, you guys. It's just, I love doing this reading because it's just really, really beautiful. Beautiful energies here. All right, so for the last two, um, what they wanted me to do was use this good tarot card as um, overall energy of the reading. And I had not done this in these pick a piles before, um, especially for this particular pick a pile edition before, but they were calling me to do it, so we're going to do it. And they're actually calling me to do it for this as well. So the good tarot is like a gentler. Um, version of the tarot deck. This Ten of Cups, um, water is actually Ten of Cups. And Ten of Cups is the happy family card. It is all your wishes fulfilled. It is pure abundance. Um, this is a really a beautiful energy. Um, let me see. Let's see what they have to say um, from the good tarot deck. Let's read it from the book here because um, I'm really curious what they have to say if there are any other messages. Um, what I'm getting from here is just that it's coming. Your manifestations are coming. You're, you're journey that that part of the journey that struggle is coming to a close and your wishes are being fulfilled you're doing it you have done it it's coming like your manifestations are coming it's beautiful so let's see what we have ten of water which is ten of cups serenity peace good fortune well-being all is well with the world and with me well-being is my natural state everything i need comes to me easily and effortlessly i feel joy and express it to others as i look around and see all the love that we share I take pleasure in all I have accomplished. Whatever attention I receive or don't receive, I am serene, for I know full well what it took for me to get where I am. I celebrate myself and all who traveled the road with me and feel grateful to Spirit for being my companion always. So if those messages resonate with you personally, go ahead and take them. Um, the message that I'm getting from the overall reading is just... You are where you are in your journey. It's coming. This cycle of struggle is coming to a close. We're reaching calmer waters. We're reaching a new place of abundance, a new place of love, a new level of love, a new age of love is really what they've been telling me um, in the past few readings. Um, it's really a beautiful, a beautiful place. This, again, is the happy family card. So whatever that looks like for you, whatever it is that you want to manifest, what they're saying is still daydream. Keep envisioning that because you are manifesting because soon, if you're not f seeing it already, it's going to be manifesting into your external world but it is being manifested in your internal world you are doing the manifesting internally in the 5d it is coming together you're raising your vibrations and coming into alignment with it whatever that looks like for you that could look like um family it could look like a, a committed relationship um it could look like career it could look like children, whatever new house, you know, whatever that manifestation is, 
uh, it's a real strong emphasis right now on relationships, um, possibly because this is the relationship reading, but actually what they gave me when I was listing all those things, and they're like, yes, all those things, but truly this is about love and this is about the relationship and you manifesting that relationship, um, especially a higher level of commitment, um, because what's happening is that resistance and that fear is being dissolved. Um, any All that soul sludge that had held you down, that had kept you in that darkness, um, it's being dissolved and you're coming into light and harmony and balance within yourself. And as you come into light and harmony and balance within yourself, then you're coming into a greater harmony and balance with your divine counterpart. So your divine counterpart actually um, is coming in with a message and what they really want to say is that, number one, they're really proud of you because you've done it. Um, this is like the end phase of the journey. You've really done it. There's still some healing to be done, they're saying. Um, you still have to keep having faith. They want you to keep having faith because there's still some tinkering to be done. There's still some triggering being done because it's like that final purge, that final release. There's still some stuff being brought up to the surface to be released for good. Um, you're still letting go of the things that are no longer serving you is what they're saying. Some of you are still, um, you've walked away. The Eight of Cups energy is gone. I'm actually going to link that in, in the links of interest um, in the description box below. Um, one of the energy updates, I actually talked about this. Oh, in my Ascension Confessions video, I actually talked about this. It's a progression. Eight of Cups is walking away from what no longer serves you, letting go completely, emptying the cups out so that new things can take its place. Nine of Cups, we have the empty cups. They're just empty so that all your wishes can come in. You have to empty out the old, the, the things that are in a lower vibration, the things, the toxicity, the bad patterns, the negative behaviors, um, anything that is no longer serving you or your high vibrations for your highest good, for your soul growth, for your evolution, it has to be emptied so that your manifestations, so your wishes, all your wishes could come back in and fill up. And the Ten of Cups is that last progression of filling back up. Um, filling, it, it's the... Um, accumulation of all your heart's desires. Um, so what they're actually saying is that you've done it. There are some of you who might be, you know, dealing with the last remains of that Eight of Cups energy, that last, you know, little bit of letting go. Um, some of you are still in that Nine of Cups energy where it's, you know, you, you've kind of, you've let go and now you're just kind of waiting for it to fill back up with all your wishes, with your manifestations to take place. It's like you're looking around and you're still seeing your empty cups is what they're saying. And you're like, well, wait a minute, where is it? It's not showing up in my physical world. What they're saying is that you're moving into this Ten of Cups. If you're not already there, this Ten of Water, if you're not already there, you're moving into it because it's going to just be an overabundance, an overflow of just manifestation, everything you want. And it's coming into you, uh, it's coming to you um, in the external realm. It, you're you're raising your vibration so that it can be a match. And what they want you to do is keep your dreams alive. Keep those manifestations in your heart. Keep believing because believing is what makes it happen. Um, I'll get to that in a second because there's a message for that. Um, take the action to that you need to take in order to make this happen um, because that is part of your job for manifestation as well. You have to take the action. You can't just you know buy a lottery ticket and be like, or you can't just say, I want to manifest a million dollars and sit back and say, that's it. You have to actually buy the lottery ticket, right? You know, you can't just say, I want to manifest a um, million dollars and, and not do anything. You have to make it happen um, and then sit back and let the universe bring it to you. But you have to be in that alignment. And how you are in that alignment is, number one, through belief and faith. Number two, um, daydreaming about it, you know, having it in your mind, keeping it in your mind, um, focusing on it as far as like what it is that you want, knowing what you want, and then taking action. You have to take the action, but then you also have to let go. Take the action to get yourself into alignment, but then let go and let the universe bring it to you how it's supposed to come to you in your best and highest good. So your manifestations are happening. It's happening. Um, but you have to take the action. They're also saying with this happy family, they're also saying that if you believe it, it's coming. Um, but you have to take the action to make it happen. It says you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Um, this, what I'm getting, is that there's still some resistance here. Um, that there are some of you who have not been expressing yourself, um, not been taking action. You're still holding back. If you want this Ten of Cups... Not only do you have to believe, but you also have to take the action. Again, you can't just sit back. You have to take the action and move yourself forward is what they're saying. Um, express yourself. Ten of water, ten of cups is also a lot about emotion and about expression. And so what they're saying is have the courage, have the um, confidence, step into that emperor energy, which we just had in the last group. Step into that emperor energy. Have that confidence to really express yourself because as you express yourself, that's how you get your wishes fulfilled as well. Um, as you express yourself, you're... 
opening yourself up to love. And as you open yourself up to love, you open yourself up to that abundance to welcome it in um, because love through all things. Now, what we're getting from this alternative card is wishes fulfilled. Um, the only thing that I'm getting here is that they're granting wishes here. Um, growing. Um, we have this like large mushroom and what they're showing me is that they're growing. They're also showing me the new moon. Um, but there are two messages. We have a new moon here and we have a full moon here. And I know that's contradictory, but that's because there are two messages here. What they're saying is new moon is for um, new manifestations. So if you have a dream, um, start working on that new manifestation. Dream that dream. Start taking action towards it so that it can come to you in this abundance. The full moon is about completing cycles. And what they're actually saying is that the phase what I was talking about in the beginning, that phase of turmoil and struggle and pain is coming to a close. Um, keep believing in that. Keep having faith in this journey. Keep working on yourself and having faith in yourself. Know that it's coming to a close um, and that it's calmer waters from here on out um, because you're, you're manifesting, because it's you know coming into your life, because you've done the work. Now the abundance and the wish is fulfilled. The wish fulfillment is coming in. Um, it's a very star energy here in this card here, this alternative card, very uh, much the star energy, um, making a wish on a star and having it come true. It's like shooting star energy. What they're also saying here is um, what I had channeled in, I think it was the, the intro in the pick a pile or the first group in the pick a pile of the Twin Flame edition. What they said is December is about miracles. And as we come upon the winter equinox, which is the full moon, towards the end of the month, um, towards the, the Christmas season, at the end of the month. Number one, we have the closing out of a year. So it is a closing out of a cycle. Number two, we have um, the Christmas season, which is all about joy and merriment. And number three, we have the full moon, which is a closing out of a, of a cycle and letting things, letting karmic cycles and the moon cycle come to a close. So with all of those things, miracles are happening and major shifts are occurring. So what they're saying is keep believing, keep having those dreams, keep taking those little steps and those actions that you can take as you want to manifest. Don't hold yourself back anymore. Don't keep in a place of fear anymore. Um, have courage, step forward. That was a direct quote. Have courage and step forward is what they're saying um, because you're moving into this happy family. Um, we call it the happy family card. It's really like wishes fulfilled card, um, but happy family, if that's what you want, especially with this relationship, what they're saying is you're moving into this. So keep having faith. Um, they just keep saying, keep believing in me too. Your divine counterpart wants you to keep believing in them um, because you're doing it. You're, you're moving forward together into this, into this divine partnership. This, we keep saying happy family because that's, you know, the meaning of the card, but also they keep showing me like divine partnership. You're, so you're moving forward in your relationship, whatever that next step looks like for you. Like I said, commitment, um, family life, um, whether it's moving in together, having children together, um, whatever that looks like for you, you're moving into that next stage. So just keep having faith here. All right. What do they want to say as a final message? Okay. This is just validation. <laughs> They're like smiling now. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. This is all about believing in manifestation and knowing that it's coming to fruition. Again, they're saying, you know, this partnership, this relationship, this happy family life, this blessing that you have been wanting, that you've been dreaming about is coming to fruition. So keep having faith. Keep believing. It is coming. Your wish is being fulfilled. Um, this manifestation, if it's not, if you're not seeing it in the external right now, in the 3D right now, um, feel it in the 5D and know that it's being manifested as you come into alignment. And as you come into alignment, um, to, in order to come into alignment, keep having faith, keep believing. Really beautiful, beautiful messages, beautiful energy. Um, I love this so much. We'll have another um, pick a pile just like this next week. Stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a beat because we'll have other pick a piles, some fun ones coming up throughout the week. We'll also have a divine partnership reading and possibly a December oracle reading. I'm not sure if we're doing that yet, uh, possibly towards the middle of the month. Um, so really um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos, our uploads, and we'll be back soon with new pick a piles. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later.